Welcome back to the build. Uh, last video we showed how to assemble all this railing, uh, different posts and railing configurations, things like that. I did not get to the part of assembling the angled adjustable stair rail. It turns out that I am going to get to that in this video. Originally I was going to try to get away with not having to have a rail on this side because I didn't really want it to look too junked up with railing. But I called the building inspector yesterday and asked specifically if I had to have a handrail on both sides. And he said, if this is above 30 inches off the ground, then yes, you do. And that's four, like almost four feet. So I got to put the railing over here. I have the parts. I was just trying not to do it, but I'm gonna have to do the same thing there, right here. Originally, this was drawn to have a post like that right here. But since this column is right here, I'm gonna try and terminate it right there into that column. And that's going to bring it as close to the edge here as I'm comfortable with. But it's also going to allow me to do the next change that I made, and that is a post up against the wall on each side of the front porch and back porch. Originally, the drawing was to terminate the rail right at the wall and put the bracket on the wall. The problem is that is about three and a half inches of foam and stucco before you reach concrete, and that's just not going to be a very secure connection. So I went ahead and leveled and plumbed that post and installed it yesterday. Now I'm going to cut the rail. We're going to have a post close to the wall. It doesn't look bad uh, like I thought it might, but that's what we're doing. So. That turned out pretty nice. We do have a lot of porch here. I think we'll probably end up putting some planter boxes there, maybe with herbs or something, and that'll look pretty cool. Hate that we had to lose that much porch, but that's just the way it is because of how this whole thing is put together. Now I'm moving on to this adjustable rail, and I've just laid down a piece of 10 foot level rail as a straight edge and I'm trying to get it as close to the edge of the steps as I can. And uh, basically I just measured the distance between that rail and that rail, and then duplicated it down here so that those are pretty square with each other. It does not look square because of the shape of the steps, but I'm gonna fiddle with it and use that to find my placement for the posts. Back porch is finished. That took a long time just because we had a bunch of snowstorms, ice storms, a lot of mud, school closures, just the weather kind of just threw a monkey wrench in our productivity over the last three weeks. But I just finished the back porch reel and it turned out great. Um, so I'm going to start on the front porch now. We've got about four days of beautiful weather now. It's like uh, 60 degrees almost. So I, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to ask questions. I'm just going to try and get some stuff done. First thing I'm going to do is run my string line along these columns to establish my horizontal and then set these two top stair railing posts. I want to get the stair rail done first and then I'll be able to do the rest hopefully pretty, pretty easily after that. So I'm going to get to it.
stairs are done. That turned out really nice. It went a little smoother than the back porch because I know what I'm doing now, but no problems. It was just, uh, it was a couple days of work though. So now, hopefully that's the most difficult part of the rest of this project so I can focus on all this level rail. Got to put a mid post in between each of these columns, one on the very end. And I got to do a couple down there on that end because we're going to do a special little thing with that. So I'm trying to determine right now, I don't know if I want to put a post perfectly centered. I mean, I do want to put a post perfectly centered here, but I have a expansion joint that has been cut and I don't want to straddle that joint with a post in case this ever does flex or expand. If I have a post on there, bolt it down, it could tear it all apart. So I've got to deal with that. And basically I'm going to put my post right up against the string line, get it centered here, plumb it, bolt it in, and do all of those before we start the rail. Quick shout out to Ariat for sponsoring today's episode. If you've been watching me for a while, then you've probably noticed the work pants that I wear are a multi-pocketed cargo tactical type of pants. Those were not Ariat pants, but everything else that I wear is Ariat rebar workwear because they're amazing. Finally, Ariat has come out with my new work pants. These will replace the ones I've always been wearing. They are Dura stretch rip stop fabric. They've got these stretch panels in the knees. So everything bends and moves with you, doesn't yank on you. Side pockets, dirt, uh, Velcro, you know, you got your regular pockets, but the inside of them are stretchy. Got this pocket here for your phone. Everything's lightweight, stretchy, breathable, and comfortable. And these are my new work pants. Thanks to Ariat for sponsoring us. Let's get back to work. <laughs> I don't know if I talked about this before, I may have mentioned it, but it turns out that this slab is exactly loading dock height, so we can back a truck right up here, unload right onto the porch without having to carry it all, carry things all the way up the stairs and do all that mess. So my big idea was put this gate here, and we can 
like bungee it open or whatever so we can unload heavy things and that's pretty cool I uh, don't have a post yet for here because uh, I'm waiting on it from the factory so this little space is not gonna get finished but I'm gonna go the whole way around and do the rest So today's Northern Tool and Equipment segment features this telescoping work plank from Metal Tech. It extends from 10 feet to 17 feet, so it's easy to store and then extendable when you need it. Made out of extruded aluminum like most of your ladders, so it'll last forever. It's got a non-slip surface for walking on. It locks open or closed. When my subs were here, I was using their walk boards and scaffolding, but now they're gone because they're finished. The only walk board I had left was a big long 2x12. I ended up cutting that up and using it as a form for the slab under the stairs. So thanks to Northern Tool and Equipment for hooking us up with this. It's really handy. If you're in the market for a walk plank that you can break down and store easily, check this one out. NorthernTool.com. Go get you one. Well, this project has been about three weeks around the weather. So yesterday I was able to finish the front porch. I got two ends like this and then the deck and we'll be finished. A couple days ago was our 10th wedding anniversary. I looked it up on the internet to see what the traditional gift was for 10 years <laughs> and it's aluminum. Happy anniversary, honey.
project is finally complete. I'm so glad to have this done. It took a long time. It was a lot of work, but man, was it worth it. Super impressed with the quality of this stuff. I really like the way it looks. You can't even see it when you're looking out. Like it doesn't get in the way of your view or anything. It's fit and finish is good. One more thing knocked off the list that we need to have done to get our final inspection. Once again, thanks to AFCO Aluminum Columns and Rails. Thanks to Northern Tool and Equipment, and of course, Area Workwear. I think I'm gonna probably take a couple days off after this. It's really nice out, a little bit windy, but it's a beautiful day. I'm gonna enjoy some time off, so uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.